here back in nice Claire Court with Ratio Deposit Ratio. Uh, the 2022 Saratoga meet, what are your plans? Hopefully try to win some races. Anything, uh, you have a nice allowance horse going today. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yes, um, he broke his maiden going long uh, mile at Aqueduct. Uh, we tried him on turf twice, um, just to experiment to see if he liked it. And now we're returning back to the uh, dirt. Uh, he's bred to be able to get the distance, so hopefully that'll be the case. Talk about the size of your barn this year. Are you growing a little bit as you come up to Saratoga? Yeah, every year it's been growing. Um, you know, the first year when I first came to New York, we got here with probably six horses. So now we're up to 35, 38, right around there. So um, it's definitely picked up. In terms of two-year-olds, is there anything that you have coming up here that's been working that you're excited about? Yeah, I ran a two-year-old yesterday that I really liked, but he got a tough trip. So, um, and there's a few others that are they're still a little bit behind, but they show you know like they're moving forward nicely. You're over here in Clare Court, which is, you know, the back corner of Saratoga Racetrack. Many people don't know about it. It's got a, a soft sand track right around. Can you talk a little about what you, if you use this to really get your horses going? I know a lot of trainers use this as a, as a place to step up horses and get their two-year-olds in, in shape. Yeah, uh, we use Clare Court, you know, to warm some horses up before we go onto the main track um, to breeze or to train. And some of them just train out here. They train a little bit more relaxed, so it's a little bit more peaceful for them. In terms of, you said your, your barn is growing. Are you doing that through the claiming game? Are you picking up new owners? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, I've, we've been claiming a lot more um, for the past two years, and I've also picked up some new owners as well. This Saratoga claiming game this year seems like it's been quite difficult. It seems like everything's a 10-way shake or a 15-way shake. Any luck so far? Yeah, we, we got lucky the first day. We dropped on the horse, and we won a 7-way shake on her, So and she ended up winning, so that was, that was lucky. So. I haven't dropped a lot, but I mean, it's, I've been seeing it's definitely, there's a lot of action. Well, good luck with the meet, and we'll be back with you probably in a couple weeks. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Here with Kenny McPeak back in Barn 86. Kenny, you got a creative minister going this week. How's the horse been training? Doing super. I think it's a great next spot for him. Uh, coming out of a couple of, you know, obviously classic grade one races. And uh, we wanted to put him in a spot that was a little bit easier on him. And um, looks like on paper, he's a pretty good fit there. Came right up from Belmont, Star training here right away, correct? Mm -hmm, sure did. And it's you have done well. Mostly you, training here at Oklahoma, and he uh, seems to be thriving up here. And you have a jockey change this time, correct? Yep, yep. I you know, put um, Dylan Davis on him. Um, we'll, uh, you know, Dylan rides in New York, knows New York, had a really great uh, meet down there at Belmont, and um, he's ridden for me in the past, and uh, we'll give him a shot on him. Have Dylan gone on the horse in the morning yet? Yeah, got on him a couple times. Worked well for him. We worked him in company with Orsha in Wolf County, who's also entered in the race, but will be scratched and run the next day in an allowance race. So, um, you know, good, good, solid eight horse field. It won't be easy, but it's a good next spot for him. In terms of two year olds, do you bring any two year olds up here that you're excited about? I am. Um, I have a bunch of them. It seems like the Phillies are a little bit better than the Colts at this stage. Um, We've got a filly named Mo Shiro that we're going to probably run the first week in August. And um, I've got a filly named Freitas the Red, who's by Saxon Warrior, a filly that I bought in Ireland. And then um, several others. Um, you know, pretty good list altogether. In terms of your Saratoga meet, are you bringing up more horses than you usually do or, or less? I've seen a number of people that have downsized when they've come up here to do barn space, anything like that? Um, I've had seasons that I've brought as many as 50. Um, this year we have 30. Uh, 30 is a pretty easy number, um, you know, but uh, but I don't know that I want 50. 50 is a lot of work, but um, but it's all good. Um, we brought good quality horses and a lot of the New York clients that we have that, that like being here, we brought some horses for them. But we've got a nice lineup of older horses. Uh, we probably saw the Shuvi, Crazy Beautiful. Uh, we've got Ambutan up here, King Fury's up here, of course Crazy Minister, or Creative Minister. Small Happy's here, but I don't think you're going to see him run. And then um, a list of other ones, so we're in pretty good shape. Small Happy's not going to run Saratoga, going to wait till the fall? Yeah, right now um, we're taking our time with him. I, mean, I haven't been real thrilled with the way he started out coming back from the Derby. Um, I think he's a horse that, you know, to, to ensure that he's a good older horse, I think we're going to need to be a little more patient with him. And, um, you know, it's never a straight line, but he's good, good cold, worth the time. And then the last one for you, Classic Causeway. Classic Causeway doing super. Um, you know, his uh, race at Belmont Derby was fantastic. He's set for the Saratoga Derby, and there's a possibility that Tiz Zabama run in there as an entry if we don't run him in the Hall of Fame the day before.
Perfect. Thank you very much and good luck with the 2022 meet. You're welcome. Here with Roberto Diodoro uh, up at Saratoga or back in, in the barn. Uh, you have Lone Rock going today. How's the horse been training? Uh, he, he loves it up here. Uh, um, you know, he trained really well and ran great up here last year. And he's doing the same thing this year. So we're pretty uh, excited about today. A mile and three-fourths seems like the distance that, that really wants. Can you tell us a little about that horse and, and you know, how you've come to him now and it's been such a workhorse for your barn how it came to you and you've been going through it yeah no we claimed the horse uh back two years ago at churchill and uh yeah he just uh, turned out to be a great horse for us uh the longer uh the longer we go the better he gets and uh you know he's just a horse that was meant to be a good horse it uh, just took him a little while to put it together and uh you know i would say these horses are athletes some of them to you know bloom at a young age and some it takes a little bit longer and He's definitely a horse that's uh, taken a little longer, but uh, it's sure paying off now. I asked you about Ava Grace before, and you said wasn't coming to Saratoga. But in terms of younger horses, any two-year-olds you have up here that you're excited about? Yeah, we got a few, and uh, three actually non-starters that we're really excited about up here. Two Colts and a Philly, and roughly uh, hopefully see them in action in the next two, three weeks. So always uh, exciting, uh, you know, dealing and uh, watching these uh, young horses develop. In terms of the size of your barn, are you bigger up here this year, smaller? I know some guys have downsized a little bit to the barn space. Yeah, a little bit smaller this year, uh, uh, basically because we went to uh, Del Mar as well this year. This is the first time we've done both Del Mar and uh, Saratoga, and obviously they run at the same time. So it's uh, taken a little bit of, uh, you know, a few horses away from our uh, Saratoga string, but uh, we still, we got, uh, 19 up here right now so uh, hopefully we can uh, start winning some races here starting today was that ship and win a big part part of you sending horses out to california yeah no it was uh you know david jerkins and his staff they've done a heck of a job out there trying to revive the racing out there as everyone knows they're in trouble and uh, i was out there for opening week and they got over uh, 1900 horses on the ground so the most they've had there for quite a while and uh, you know it's you know we need place we need it you know big or small uh, tracks we need them uh, to succeed in the, especially tracks like uh, you know New York and uh, California, they're big parts of our industry. Last question for you, I know you race at some smaller tracks as well as bigger tracks. Can you tell us a little bit what that atmosphere, different wise, you know, uh, incentives to go to tracks, is it, are you always just trying to go to the bigger tracks or I know you sometimes go out and chase after those stakes races and you've been successful at it. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I always say uh, a win's a win and uh, you know, each horse uh, has their level. So, uh, you know, I was born and uh, raised on the small, uh, smaller tracks up in Canada and uh, ventured down to Turf Paradise, Canterbury, and uh, uh, you know, just love the, you know, dealing with horses and the competitiveness. And uh, like I said, a win's a win. I don't care if it's a $50,000 stake race or a 500, they're excited in, uh, to win for sure. Yeah, you have a couple of in Century Mile, I believe, correct? Yeah, You're, you're the black top up there. Yeah, yeah, and we got, uh, we actually got three on Monday, running uh, Monday night in the, at Cinnaboy Downs in the Manitoba Derby. So uh, I'm actually flying out Saturday to, to head up to Winnipeg, Manitoba. Well, good luck with that and good luck with the rest of the meet. Yeah, no, appreciate it. Thank you.